Hi there, Cosmo family. My name is Yahleal in this incarnation, and today I wanted to leave this reflection. And at the moment that I am doing this video, especially this week, we have very uh, like fluid aspects, harmonic, as they are called in astrology. Uh, so apart from the opposition between Venus and Uranus, which could be felt in very different ways, uh, I think it's important to take into account this message for 2024, which is very close. So each one of us, uh, we, have, we have different ways of operating in our own lives at the time of creation. And when I am talking about creation, uh, I am saying that everything that we do, everything that we are pulsing is a part of the creation of our experience. So there are people that have, um, you know, a, a very strict organization or very uh, rigid structures that in their um, extreme polarity could not give place to changes or open a, a margin to uh, for the things to go beyond what was planned. So the other polarity is the total absence of a structure or practical organization and this will be an impediment also for creation because basically this will uh, take us to procrastination. So every time that we are stepping in, a, in an extreme polarity, it's important to recognize that because that is linked with an inner imbalance that without judgments, we have to attend in order to flow in a better way in our own lives, in our own experience. So between these two polarities, there is a big spectrum of different ways that we can do things. Uh, I think in some video I, I shared uh, a little bit about my own experience because I live pretty much in improvisation with a minimum planification, but I have like uh, certain things that I have to accomplish daily, no matter what. So uh, this has uh, its pros and cons. I am not recommending this methodology. I think that everyone has to find their own balance. But, uh, you know, many times a lot of changes are emerging and they are pushing us to change our structures and not in a uh, linear way. What I'm trying to say is that uh, maybe we have to learn to be more flexible in certain areas or to be more organized in others, for example. Uh, so this is about chaos reaching for us to readaptate, to create from uh, a new space and new things, because this also will have a, an effect on our inner side. And this could happen on the, on the level of daily things, daily life. Uh, but we, we also are going to see this more and more in the collective because Pluto is entering in Aquarius in January. And then we are going to, to start to feel uh, the conjunction between Jupiter and Uranus in Taurus. So these events are going to revolutionize our experiences, both individual and collective, because everything that is happening out there uh, in a massive way has a reflection on the individuals. So these transits have uh, different qualities. I am going to talk about them later. But mainly, this is about uh, chaos, changes, and disruption. And these things, while we could leave them from the emotion of experimenting something new, and at the same time, uh, like the uncomfortable feeling of having to open ourselves to that, uh, and in many other cases, well, this means that ego doesn't like it at all, <laughs> the direction uh, that life is proposing and the fact that it cannot be controlled. Because we are talking about Pluto and Uranus, They're, they are transpersonal planets. So they are bringing this energy that has a major social and collective purpose, even if we don't understand it. So when I am talking about chaos, I'm not referring to something bad or good, because those are perceptions. I am talking about this agitation that many times come to our lives in order to, to make us find a, a new order inside and uh, a readaptation, as I said before. And uh, uh, these modifications are, are taking us to, to gain a new perception of ourselves, of the reality, and to act different. So I think that, that the big lessons are linked with opening our arms to the different, the unexpected, and to keep walking, to keep moving forward, no matter if, if they go, um, may not like the, the situations, because everything has a sense. I know that I repeat this so much, but I think it's important because many times that sense only appears um, much later in our path. So chaos is what many times 
uh, we need to shake the, the conformism of the comfortable disconnected ego. Chaos is what many times we need in order to awake in ourselves the desire and the will to do the things different. So when that happens in a, an entire community, well, we have the opportunity there to change the collective reality. So I just wanted to leave this reflection today. Thank you, everyone, and see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.